Cartier's 1952 Panther bracelet was king at Sotheby's sale last night and sold for just over £4.5 million, more than double its pre-sale estimate. The very same Panther broke two new records, that for the highest price paid for a piece of Cartier jewellery, as well as the highest price ever paid for a bracelet at auction. It has a sort of hypnotic quality about it. It's for women. It's a sort of feat of engineering to create a bracelet that's so lifelike. The slinky diamond onyx panther was one of the 20 lots of jewels and precious objects that once belonged to the Duchess of Windsor. But this isn't the first time that these jewels have been under the hammer. In 1987, some 23 years ago, Sotheby sold the Duchess's jewels in Geneva. The collection fetched the highest price ever paid for a single owner collection of jewellery. So the Onyx and Diamond Panther bracelet start bidding at seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds, twenty thousand pounds, ten million one hundred thousand, one million two. You have to see both at one million three hundred thousand, one million five, one million eight, two million pounds, two million four, two million five, three million two, three million eight, three million nine. <laughs> Four million pounds. Tina, are you out? Are you still with us? Then, so, four million pounds. The second highest price of the evening was for the ruby, sapphire, emerald, citrine, and diamond flamingo clip. Estimated at 1 to 1.5 million pounds before the sale, the brooch was purchased by Collection Cartier for 1.7 million pounds. I can't think of what we're doing more than Here's a brooch that comes along in light the footage, right at the end of the art and suddenly you're into a stylized, basically naturalistic approach, and which is completely breaking the traditions of um, everything. The 20 pieces brought a total of almost £8 million, well above the pre-sale expectations of just over £4 million. It was a white glove sale, which means that 100% was sold by lot and value, and in time honoured tradition the auctioneer was handed a pair of white gloves at the end of the sale. The Panther attained a far higher price than the Flamingo, though both had similar valuations before the beginning of the sale. So what does this tell us? Jewellery expert Joanna Hardy told me over the phone that some people were saying the Panther bracelet was more wearable than the Flamingo brooch. The Panther was one of Cartier's first pieces of jewellery inspired by big cats. And Cartier is still remembered for its big cat jewellery today, not so much for its flamingos. I've been lucky enough to see up close both the supple sinuous curves of the panther as well as the flamingo and I have to say the panther is a whole lot sexier than the flamingo.